Hey guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here. I'm gonna hit some thrift stores, see what I can find to flip for a profit on eBay. So here we go with La Baby. I go ahead and grab this for $4.99, maybe 25 to 30 price point, price range. I did see this Tupperware. Let me know in the comments if I should have grabbed it. I did end up passing on it for $3.99. I saw all these 60s, 70s wall hangings here. It was a set of four. They were $4.99 a piece, so I decided to grab the whole set. I really don't know too much about them. I've had mixed luck with uh, wall hangings of that era. Hopefully, these end up being pretty good. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know anything about these. This Viking Swan Duck Goose deal here, maybe a $35, $40 ship, so really cool blue glass pickup there. At the next door, I get a bag or two of figures here, as well as this lighted poker. It's a Radica. The comps I'm putting up on the screen are kind of on the lower end, but there's a few other pieces in there as well. So they were like $1.99 a bag. But then I find this all clad here. I love buying all clad. Wish this one had happened to have the lid on it, but unfortunately it did not. But at five bucks, I think $4.99, we should be good. These lightsabers were cool, and a dollar ninety nine is definitely a fair price. But for the condition, I decided I didn't want to try and put it up on eBay. At the next door, I get this stack of vinyl here, and it ends up being a pretty good stack. I ended up buying it all here, so we got this Elton John, a uh, few Elton Johns in there. So uh, if the value just isn't there, you know, I can lot them together. So that's always really nice. We got a bunch of Journey albums, which is really cool because Journey's a great band and just all kinds of great stuff. Honestly, whoever donated this stack of vinyl definitely had good taste in music. I've ended up with John Lennon Imagine there, so that's a pretty good one. Got the doors. And uh, more Journey, as I had mentioned. And I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at all of these, uh, all of these albums in vinyl in just a minute. Just wanted to give you kind of a uh, what I saw at the store as I was going through it. And we did end up with the Eric Clapton there. Some sticks. And all these comps I'm putting up on the screen, guys, they're just random comps I pulled. Uh, not accurate to the condition of the albums you're actually seeing. So I might get a little bit more or a little bit less, depending. But at 99 cents a piece, it's going to be really hard to lose. The vinyl mailer is going to cost me maybe about a buck a piece. If you're curious on what vinyl mailers I use, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description, and you can check that out there. And yeah, we ended up with some Willie Nelson there. So some really good stuff. I think it was great. Uh, Billy Squire, Foreigner, John Cougar, got all kinds of different stuff here. So... Nothing insane that I saw where I was like, oh man, this is like worth a billion dollars. Let me know if you saw something that is. I do pick up this Van Heusen Never Tuck. And then I get this Dallas Alice sweatshirt here. I just thought it was really cool. It is vintage throwback. But I don't know if it was a good investment or not. Going to another store here, I do pick up this Van Halen book. So it's a very much a music related video today. The comps really are all over the place on this book. And then I saw, uh, these are actually Fielded Stream, but they're like really thick flannel hoodies and they just felt like they were quality. So I do end up buying both of them and I believe I was at like five bucks a piece, hoping to get around the 40 shipped mark. Same with this Game Hide vest there. It, uh, the one I picked is in great condition. Got this vintage sweatshirt. There's a, a ridiculous comp right now on eBay, but there was an offer accepted. I don't think that it's accurate enough to even share, but I do pick up that concrete sweater, the Schmidt khaki overalls here. And I go back, see this new stock cart. All right guys, so I ended up with a stack of vinyl and it was a pretty good stack of vinyl as far as thrift store vinyl goes, because typically I usually have to turn away more than I buy, but instead I just bought the whole stack this time. So. 
We ended up with some highlights here. Of course, we got Eric Clapton, Billy Joel, a couple good Rod Stewart's here, including Coast to Coast. Journey right here. So we got four Journey albums, which is pretty awesome. The Tommy soundtrack. Imagine uh, John Lennon here. We've got a whole bunch of Elton John, which I don't know individually how these would go, but I mean, five of them for five bucks is an obvious lot up if we need to do that. We got The Doors, Super Tramp, Santana, Heart, Eagles, Foreigner, uh, what is this, Crosby, Still, Nash? Uh, this is Crosby and Nash and no stills? No. I really don't know, sorry. Not trying to offend any fans. Pat Finitar here. We've got Neil Young. Uh, two different Steve Martins here, so that's pretty cool. Willie Nelson, Reba, Pat Benatar to Doobie, uh, Best of the Doobies, which I'm guessing Doobie Brothers. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, a few more over there. I think this was a pretty good find, especially at basically a buck a pop. All right, guys, this is some pretty awesome stuff here, aside from the vinyl too, that I've picked up. So I got all these wall paintings. I really don't know anything about them. So I picked them up five bucks a piece. That's what they sound like. And yeah, $4.99 each there. They're pretty interesting. I believe they're 60s, 70s is what it said on the back there. I got La Baby. <laughs> and then we got this Viking figurine here. It's a duck, geese. Duck? Uh, duck. duck. Swan. Uh, two ninety nine. Swan. Swan. I Swan I sounds know. better. Sure. And then uh, I got this lighted poker here. These loose figures with some random Lego in there. There were a couple things that drew me to them. I felt like I saw a couple Power Rangers and some different stuff in there or something. Maybe it wasn't Power Rangers. Maybe that's a different bag and I'm just blurring the days together. We do have a Skeletor in there, but I think it's a more modern one, not like original. Yeah, there's a green Power Ranger in there. You've got Carnage. So I don't know, I bought it. And we did end up with this LED stocking holder deal here. And I feel like these are going for like 40 bucks or so. 3.99 is what I paid for it. I did get this all clad pan here for only five bucks. Anytime I see all clad at that price, I am gonna pick it up. Then we ended up with a couple of these field and streams here. I think I got like five bucks each, but these are like really thick, rugged, insulated flannels and they're XL, so it's a good size. Then I got these uh, work overalls here, and yeah, uh, Schmidt, the uh, CE Schmidt, and it's a medium regular. Uh, they seem to be in very good condition. They weren't marked up, so I did go ahead and pop on them. Yeah, got the lighted poker. We ended up with the uh, Home Alone three, three film collection, which honestly, for me, Home Alone ends after the second one, but whatever. I picked that up for $2.99 sealed, and $2.99 sealed on this Outlander uh, season two. I could not get into that show for some reason. Uh, I tried to on season one, but hey, whatever, to each their own. I loved it. I loved that season. <laughs> I think it was about uh, $15 each is what we'll get for it. And yeah, I got this Van Halen book. I think this is a 30 plus dollar book or so, even in kind of like that rougher pre-owned shape there. We ended up with this as a Dallas Alice, Grand Lakes Dream, vintage sweatshirt there. I got a brand new Van Heusen, Never Tuck. We've got the Cleveland Browns football hoodie here, sort of vintage. Made in Korea starter. We've been heavy on the brown stuff lately. Yeah, they'd be losing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up with uh, this concrete, uh, kind of similar to like Bill Cosby style sweater from back in the day, at least. Uh, that's what they were kind of mentioning in some of the listing descriptions for this brand. There were a couple concretes there. I didn't buy them all. I bought the one that seemed to be the most unique. And then I got this work vest or hunting vest here. Work vest game hide and yeah i think uh we should do pretty well on that it's in great condition so i think that was a uh pretty good couple days out at the thrift stores all right guys let's talk dream home challenge here so last year about mid-year i decided that i was going to take on a challenge and try to make thirty thousand dollars in additional profit on top of what i already profit normally in my reselling business to go towards the down payment of mine slash my wife's dream home because for some reason people would be like what do you mean my dream home when it's going to be your dream home and i'm like semantics basically over the last month 
month and a half. I've been kind of really quiet about the Dream Home Challenge portion of things, but I've been counting every video that I buy stuff. I've been counting that stuff towards the Dream Home Challenge, which is something I didn't do for most of the year. Most of the year, only things that showed up on Tuesday videos were part of the Dream Home Challenge, which really hurt any kind of forward momentum that I was getting with the Dream Home Challenge. So like for instance, last month we actually sold quite a bit in December, obviously for Q4, that's just a great time for sales. But a large portion of what we sold was stuff that I purchased that wasn't part of the dream home challenge. So that kind of brings a problem that, you know, the, the momentum's still a little bit slow. All right, so just getting into the numbers here, guys. So we had the number as of the 22nd of November of last year was at $4,043.18. Our sales that we would add to it have been a total of $14,277.19. We would deduct shipping and fees of $4,617.68. Then we would deduct the total of the goods purchased in the videos of $3,439.37. So guys, that's going to bring us to a new total number of $10,000. $263.32, which I think is pretty solid. Again, I don't think I organized this challenge to make it very successful in the beginning because basically I was just saying, hey, all my coolest and best finds are going to end up mainly in the other videos because I was creating three, four videos a week. And then Tuesday, you know, whatever it gets is what it gets. And that just wasn't enough to fuel it. I think now that we've started to dedicate ourselves a little bit more to the challenge, even though you might not be seeing that in the videos, we're gonna start having greater success. Let me know what you think in the comments about the Dream Home Challenge. Let me know how you might wanna see something like that handled in the video. I'd be really interested to know what your input is. And with that, I'm gonna wrap it up for right now, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.